Hello and welcome to the third and probably the final video in my series on how to run meta ads for music to get more streams. In my first video, I talked about the campaign setup approach that I'm using. And in my second video, I walked through how I think you should make ads that are actually good. And in this third video today, I'm gonna to talk about how to optimize a campaign. If you set it up and it's not working, what should you do? And with that said, let's turn around to the old computer screen and I will show you a phenomenal presentation that I have prepared using the most cutting edge PowerPoint techniques. Let's get into it. All right, here we are at the computer screen. As promised, I have a phenomenal presentation using black and white text. <laughs> I'm going to be assuming in this presentation that you've watched my first video on how to make a campaign, like the campaign structure that I'm using. And I'm not gonna go into a ton of detail, but the, the premise of that is that it is a broad targeted campaign structure. I'm not doing like detailed interest targeting. And so that's the underlying basis for how we're going to approach optimization. Now, the first way to optimize a campaign is through optimizing who the ads are being shown to. And this is honestly what most people think of first when they go to optimize their campaign. They look at the different breakdowns, the data the ads manager will show you of okay, what's the age range this is being shown to, who's clicking like in the different age brackets, what countries and locations are doing well, and what placements are doing well. And so these are three of the things that you can very much look at and kind of tweak to try and get your ads running in the right direction. Just a couple tips, I would almost always pare it down to below 65 years old, because once you get above 65 plus, um, you often start to get a lot of, I I think they might just be accidental or junk clicks. I'm not sure. But basically, if you pair your age range below 65, you almost always start to see better results. And really, you can just home in the target age range as you go based on like where your clicks are coming from. With locations, you can kind of approach this in two ways. One is to just look at the countries that are the highest cost per click and kind of slowly cut those out. And then the other way is to be kind of aspirational and say, okay, Meta is determining that I'm getting a ton of clicks in South Africa, for example, but I don't really want to build a fan base in South Africa. And so even though that is a cheap cost per result, cost per click, I'm going to pair that back out of my targeting and let the campaign run from there. And then the third kind of target optimization that I often look at is the platform placement. And you can go into the trends and see, is this being shown more often on Facebook or Instagram? Um, you can break down like specifically what placements are being shown on which platform. And if you are seeing a disproportionate amount of placements in a platform that you don't think makes a ton of sense, you can of course pair that out in the ad set level. One common thing I'll see here is that if you leave the network checked, it'll often get a disproportionately high amount of clicks. So that audience network is almost always one of the first things I'll look at if I'm trying to optimize based on placements. So final thought here, just the high level approach is to make maybe one or two changes each week with this and to just over time kind of dial in and dial in who your ads are being shown to. And over time, you can kind of slowly lower the cost per result or just slowly get more focused on who you're showing them to so you're getting better results on the back end. But this is kind of a long-term game that will just slowly improve your results over time. But there is a second and, in my opinion, far more impactful way to optimize your ads, and that's to just try new actual ads, try new videos, and try new captions. So this is actually the thing that I will do the most when I'm working with a new client. If we have a campaign that is running at a certain like kind of acceptable level, but I'm just struggling to get it to really be high performing, I will just try a whole new kind of creative concept for the videos and the captions. And it just makes so much sense, but this is like how you get to the next level of results is actually improving the ads. It's not necessarily just the song. So I have run ads where it's like the same song, but I just changed the video concept and the new video way outperformed the old video, literally the same, like the chorus of the same song. So I would say the video is the most important element of this, but also captions do make a difference. Um, if you have a certain hook or angle in the caption that's related to the video and it's just not resonating, you can sometimes introduce a new caption, have that have a big impact on results. Um, and my overall philosophy here is that the biggest factor in an ad campaign's results is the ad itself. And again, this is especially true in the type of campaigns I'm running where the targeting is pretty open-ended and we're giving meta the reins and saying, find people who this content is suited for. If you are running that type of campaign, the content itself is the single biggest factor in how well the campaign does. This makes sense if at a basic level you assume that the targeting works. So like, for example, Geico ads. Geico runs ads during football games, right? And so if an ad doesn't do well for Geico, they already know that 
there is an audience watching football games that is interested in Geico, like the fault is on the ad. It's a bad ad. And so in that same way, like we know that there are people on the meta platform who will listen to music. And so if we're not getting results with our ads, yes, we can keep dialing in the targeting and that does work over a period of time. But the best thing that we can do is just come up with a better ad that is more compelling and more engaging. And that's the single biggest thing you can do to make an effective campaign is just come up with a really good ad. So the last thing I want to do is just show you two examples of these different approaches. These are both with clients that I've worked on. And here's one where I kind of just took the general targeting optimization approach. I was just slowly paring out high cost countries and placements and just trying to get this cost dialed in over time. You can see 76, 76 cents per click. That's still pretty expensive over the life of this campaign. Um, it started up around a dollar eighty cents, and then like it's just slowly kind of trended down towards something a little bit more palatable. We actually paused this campaign, as you can see, um, and went with another just video that was doing better. But this is kind of what that first approach looks like over time. And here's an example of where we introduced an entirely new ad, like a new video and new caption. And you can see at this point, this is where the ad was in the video was introduced, and it went from about like 20 some between 20 and 30 cents a click to like under 10 and then it eventually settled up around like 12 14 so you can see when you introduce a new ad if it's a good ad it can, this is where you can have the major jump from a campaign is performing okay to a campaign is crushing it and this was an ad where it was literally the same song it's not like the music itself changed it's just the video presentation that we did changed and so if you introduce a really good ad you can make a really big jump in results and that is in my opinion the number one way to optimize your ad campaign is just to make better ads so there you go. That's how I optimize my ad campaigns. If you are interested in learning more about this, I have a membership where I walk through my approach. I have a course on how to run ads in more detail. And I also do one-on-one -on -one, like consultations in that membership. So check that out. I also do run ads for people as part of my agency offering two-story media. So head over there if you would like to pay me to run ads for you. And then finally, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. Um, I think this is the last video that I'll do on running ads, but if you have specific topics you'd like me to cover, feel free to let me know and I'll try and do that in the future. But appreciate you guys watching. As always, wishing you good luck as you market your music and put it out there. You got this.